delicious. Amazing. Uh, oops. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Mr McGregor would go away every day. Me too. Maybe we should be stocking up on food while we can. Lily's right. We could feed all our families for a week if we get enough food. Make four piles. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> Let's hop to it. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. A song about food sung by food. <laughs> fruity, fruity, queeny, beanie. Fruity, fruity, queeny, beanie. Oh. <gasps> Hello there, Cottontail. Again, again. Phew. Baby Lisa. Queeny, beanie. You've been great, Cottontail. But better leave it to us now, OK? Uh -huh. <laughs> have we got enough? I hope so. If I have to dig up any more radishes, I might turn into one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr McGregor could be back at any second. Don't worry, Lily. We're safe. In fact, why don't we have some lunch? Words right out of my mouth. Mr. Todd! <laughs> Run! Mind, there's plenty of other rabbits. Now, where are they? Excellent hiding, Lily. Uh, 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 I'm a little strawberry. I'm a little strawberry. Uh, How considerate. Providing your own strawberry garnish. Ah! Ah. Ooh. Ooh. No, stop that! Ah. Ah, not on the tweed! Oh. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, Peter. Neither do I. But a good rabbit never gives up. Don't let them eat my cake. Or me. <laughs> Lily! Whistle as loud as you can! Quick! Uh, okay. <laughs> go, go! <laughs> ah, you thought some loud whistle would stop us? That really takes the cake. And so do I. Get them! <laughs> What's all that whistling, Mr. Mr. McGregor? <laughs> a clever plan, Peter. I didn't know why he wanted me to whistle at first, but then I did whistle and that brought out Mr McGregor and Sammy Whistle was like, ah, run away! <laughs> Genius. Uh, I'll stop talking now. Good, because there's still one tiny little problem. Bravo! <gasps> run! Not so fast! <laughs> 
We can't get out of the garden. Not if every way out is blocked by someone who wants to eat us. Then we'll just have to get them to move, won't we? This is bad. This is very bad. Just be ready to trap them under here when I lead them to you. OK, Peter. Wait, did he just say, lead them to us? Oh, a worm. Mm. No. Getting hungry? Oh, yes, maybe. What's it to you? Oh, I was just thinking what a shame it is that when Mr McGregor catches us, he won't get to eat us. Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. And rabbits go so well with worms, too. Oh, a nice big juicy one. Give it here. You want it? Come and get it. <laughs> ah! said, a good rabbit never gives up. But I know what we need. A shortcut. Look, the plum thief will have to go down this valley up ahead and this shortcut leads to the far end of it. It's that path right there. And if we take it, we can be at the other end of the valley waiting for him when he gets there. So the thief will run right into us. That's brilliant. Yeah, let's go. Wait, right into us? What am I saying? Wait! Rabbits are brave, rabbits are brave. <sighs> are you sure this is a good idea? Yes. Of course you are. Shh! Just be quiet. Sorry, Tummy's hungry. Well, it won't be long before we're feasting on that sweet, juicy plum. And we finally find out who we've been chasing. He should be coming down the valley any minute now. <laughs> Squirrel Nutkin? <laughs> he's the plum thief? Must be. And look, he's got my plum. OK, Nutkin, <gasps> let's have it. Huh? I've got to hand it to you. It was pretty impressive how you got through Mr McGregor's fence and ditch. <laughs> and the net. Yes, and the net. And got to that plum. Plum? What plum? The one you're holding behind your back? Oh. There it is. That's journal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I 
I've got a better idea. It's a hazelnut catapult. We can knock the journal down. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One, two... Don't miss, okay, Peter? Yes, thanks. One, two... And you don't want to wake Cole Brown, do you? Yes, I know. Stop interrupting. Mm-hmm. One, two... Do you want to take a practice Whoa. shot first? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Let's go find some more hazelnuts. Nutkin? Oh, I'm not here. So, your secret mission was stealing all of old Brown's hazelnuts, huh? <gasps> Who told you? Was it Felix? I bet it was. Oh, he is such a blabbermouth. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> We're here to get Peter's journal back. Hmm? Old Brown stole it. That grumpy old owl stole your journal? I have had it with him! <laughs> old Brown has been an enemy of the Squirrel Tribe for generations. First, he steals my tail. And now, he steals your journal? We've got to do something! Squirrel Tribe to battle! OK, I'll do it myself. Come on! Nutkin, really, you don't have to do this. It's my problem. You want your journal back? You'll have it back. <laughs> the secret is to be fast, sneaky, and very, very quiet. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> See? I did it! <laughs> no! Look out, Nutkin! What? You want more dancing? OK! <laughs> Old Brown has Nutkin! We have to help him! But how? <gasps> Come on! One, two, three! Peter, I'm not sure this is going to work. We broke the bed by bouncing too much. Maybe we can break this branch the same way. One, two, three. Oh, no! <laughs> Peter, are you all right? Just enjoying the view, Lily. <laughs> hey, I can see Benjamin. He's coming back. I mean, what do you think of my dad's branch breaker? He uses it to collect wood for the fire and we could use it to snap the branches. Great idea, Benjamin. How does it work? Well, he told me, but um, I kind of forgot. That's OK. We can figure it out. Let's hop to it. Branch ready. Left a bit. Right a bit. Yes. Branch breaker ready. Remember, Dad said don't let go. Uh, the branch is too strong. Uh, A good rabbit never gives up. Uh, Keep going, it's working. Uh, it's working very loudly. Uh, 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 can't stop now. Uh, we need that branch. Uh, <laughs> What's all that hullabaloo? One more turn and we can get that branch we need to fix my bed! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> we did it! Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I can't believe it works! I mean, I knew it would, but... 
<laughs> Mr. Mr. Todd! Peter Rabbit and friends, what a delightful picnic spot you found. Actually, Mr. Todd, we're not having a picnic. Oh, but I am. And the main dish is rabbit. Ah! Rabbit are brave. Rabbit are brave. Don't worry, Benjamin. We'll get out of this somehow. I'll lead him away. You two make a run for the burrow. What? Hey, come back here. <laughs> Ah, stay still, you wriggly little... Ow! C come here! Ow! Oof! You pesky thorns! Let me show you. OK. Flat arm, mm -hmm. loose wrist, pull back. That's what I did. Huh? Wait, what's this? I thought I'd read every page of my dad's journal, but I never saw that before. That's a big fish. A really big fish. Wow! The biggest fish I've ever seen! <gasps> <gasps> oh! oh. Wh what was that? It's the same fish as the one in the drawing, and it's right here in this lake. Maybe fishing isn't such a good idea after all. Hey, let's ask Jeremy Fisher about it. He knows everything about the lake. Mr. Fisher, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Fisher! Ah, Peter, Lily, Benjamin. Florence. <laughs> oh, what brings you to these parts? No, oh, that fish is the reason why I don't go far out on the lake anymore. <gasps> Who is he? The meanest, strongest, nastiest <gasps> fish of all! No one has ever come close to catching him. Except, uh, uh, um, except, uh, uh, mm. <gasps> Oh, no, you don't. Yes, Mr. Fisher, <clears throat> no one except... <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yes. No one except your father, Peter. One day, he was out fishing, and he came face to face with... Oh, no! I can't say his name! <laughs> Please, Mr Fisher, tell us! Jack Sharp! The fish is called Jack Sharp! There! I've said it. So what happened? How come this Jack Sharp is still in the lake? Your father was determined to catch him. He cast his line. Pull to the right, then the left, then right again. Suddenly, he lost his footing. But so big was Jack that he was too much even for a great adventurer like your father to reel in. And? And? I went for help. But when I returned, Jack Sharp was gone. And your father never spoke of the great fish again. And from that day, I called Jack Sharp the one that got away. Can I borrow your fishing rod, please, Mr. Fisher? Maybe Jack Sharp is asleep or something. Maybe you should try wiggling the rod. <sighs> Nothing. Can we go home now? Wait! I think I've got him! No! <laughs> 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 Uh, run! Uh, well, uh, at least we know the rod works. Wow! Wow! Hey, actually, this is kind of fun. How? <laughs> yeah. Oh, tail feathers! I'll teach you for waking me up, you flying fluffball! This is all your fault! If your kite was easier to steer, Benjamin could escape! If your kite was faster, our brown would never catch him! Get him away 
from all brown first. Ah, shoot, shoot! Hot wheeling cart horses, stop moving about! Don't let go! Some more. <laughs> Those feet are sounding so close to you. What can you do? Oh, grab it, run. We have to start working together if we're going to save him. Let's do it. Got any ideas? Yes, but we're going to need friends in high places. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Knocking! It's her! Old Brown's after Benjamin! I know! And Mr. Todd's following him on the ground! Mr. Todd is after Benjamin too? You've got to help us, Knocking! Against Old Brown and Mr. Todd? I'd rather lose my tail. Again? No way! There is nothing, nothing you can say to change my mind. Uh. We'll let you fly our kites later. <gasps> Let's do this! Great! Come on, hop to it! Squirrels don't hop. Ow! Oh! Ouchie! Ow! Us. Right, Benjamin? Benjamin? Where is he? You said meet back here. He heard you, didn't he? Sure he did. At least, I think he did. <gasps> you don't think he's in trouble, do you? That's exactly what I think. We have to find him. Let's hop to it. Show us the face again. The, the face! face! The, the face! face! Ah! <laughs> Who's the bravest of them all? Hero, Hero rabbit! rabbit! Who protects the weak and small? Hero, Hero rabbit! rabbit! That's me! <laughs> Who's gonna rescue our peas from the fox? Hero, Hero rabbit! rabbit! That's me! Wait a minute! The fox? This is Mr Todd's lair! What are we doing here? We told you we need our peas back! And that nasty fox took them! I can't go in there! It's dangerous. But you can do anything. Go on, Hero Rabbit. Get us our peas. No, don't knock! Oh. Who's there? <laughs> yes? Who's there? Whoa! Oh. Ah. Hooray! 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 Uh, what's Hooray! going on? Who tripped me? Where, where am I? Hooray! <laughs> Good work, <laughs> Hero <laughs> Rabbit. Now you can go in there and get our peas. Our peas! Our peas! Uh, but... What's wrong, Hero Rabbit? You can do it. Uh, rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Oof! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I can do this. Benjamin! Benjamin! <whistles> Ow! Can you warn me next time you're going to do that? Sorry, I'm just worried about Benjamin. Where is he? Oh, if I ever get my paws on who did this to me... There. Now where are those peas? <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you little rodents to knock on my door. <laughs> uh, where, where are you? <laughs> oh, no! 
Yeah. Hurry up, hero! Run! <laughs> Something? Tommy Brock? Hmm. There's all his stuff and no sign of that grouchy old badger. Excellent. A ramp and just the right size to deal with that rock. Sacks and boots and rod and fruit. Rusty pins and empty tins. <laughs> I love my stuff, I do. Oh, no! Now how am I going to get that ramp? Um... Ah! <laughs> hey! Who did that? Show yourself! <laughs> What's that? Peter Rabbit? Huh, he's got an old metal sheet just like mine. <laughs> Hang on. That is mine! Come back here! Oh. Sorry, Peter. Getting the pumpkin was always your father's job. So I'm afraid we won't be having one this year. We don't need a pumpkin, Peter. Yeah, we don't. Everything looks amazing just as it is. Maybe. But it will look even better when I get us a pumpkin. Just like my dad did. Let's hop to it! <laughs> There it is. That's our pumpkin. <laughs> Cotton tail. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really have to be a pumpkin. <gasps> what about that turnip? Oh, that cabbage over there is pretty big. Hmm. Yeah, they're okay, but not as nice as a giant pumpkin. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 
Hurry! you've got any string. Hmm, let's see. Uh, just in case, Bucket, just in case. <gasps> Perfect. But what do you need it for? You'll see. <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Ah, what's got into you? Where did you go, you slippery little? Cheeky robin, give that back! Try this on for size. I'll put you in a pain. It's now or never. <gasps> oh. Faster! <laughs> <laughs> We're flying! Oh, yeah! <laughs> We're really, really high up. We'll be okay, Benjamin, as long as we all keep. <laughs> Got it! Couldn't come home empty-handed, could we? Ah, how do those rabbits do it? <laughs> I thought we'd agreed never to tell them about that crash. Yes. Oh, I, I suppose Mr. Bouncer may have let slip the tail of the flying machine. <gasps> Me? I believe you showed them the photograph, Mr. Fisher. All right, there's no sense in arguing about it now. Anyway, I'm sure Peter and his friends aren't up to anything they shouldn't be. But Peter is always up to something, isn't he, Mopsy? Always, Flopsy. Ah! Oh, dear. Peter, fly! Make way! Incoming! <sighs> I don't believe it! You found it! Of course we did. Nice of you to drop in, Peter. Uh, sorry if we made you jump. It's easier to fly than it is to land. Do you know what this means? Now we can all go on flying trips wherever we want. Think of the exploration. Oh, I'd love to visit the far side of the lake again. Excellent fishing over there, you know. Now, now, let's not get too excited, gentlemen. I'm happy that they found the flying machine, but the sky is no place for a rabbit. Isn't that right, Peter? Peter? Peter Rabbit. Just like your father. Peter no! Enough to get me over my fear of heights. Oh. <laughs> Too tight? No, that's just fine. I wonder what's over that hill. Only one way to find out. What do you say then? One more time? Life is one big adventure! 